Hello, my soccer universe. Yeah, I didn't want to make necessarily another short video, but then I realized that when I reviewed my birthday presents, I didn't really talk about all these tags and how they are in there. So I decided since I'm going to wear this one today, uh, I need to take the tag off. And so let's talk about uh, how this is. And then I give you a little bit of well i think about this jersey as well although you saw this already my birthday present video got this also but this one will have to wait its turn a little bit but i think it's fitting to have both of them in this video so yeah this is the famous renaissance jersey that uh caused big shockwaves through the shirt community when it dropped um again i was originally not very sold on it but yeah it is a nice jersey overall and i also have to say very important um green is not an out of sorts color for italy they used to have that the national team the youth national team was playing in green and that you had to earn your blue uh for the senior national team so and green being the color of hope so i think it's a nice nod because this current national team is such a young one Let's look at it. Um, first of all, tags. So if you buy this, I, I'm sure there are lots of knockoffs in there. I think my wife actually found this one on Amazon. The tag is affixed on the inside of the collar, left side. And you know, there is the collar and where kind of this part here ends, you have the tags on there. Uh, I don't know, you know, for Nike, it makes a huge diff difference. Puma and Adidas still have the tags on the collar. And then uh, the tags that I have here are the one explaining the dry cell and having the size details. Then I have one with uh, official licensed product. And then one that this is a regular fit jersey. So this is not the match jersey. So those are the three tags I have on here. Uh, if we look at the jersey itself, it's at least there's some blue in there so uh it kind of connects it's a very dark navy blue um the crest is in gold which is probably the one thing that i that's the one the one thing i like least because i really would like to have the full colored crest i know it might not make it makes for a nicer overall look but you know how i don't like taking a off jersey color and slapping a crest on there making it monochromatic and especially in this case this could be any flag. This is not necessarily the Italian flag. It just says Italia on there. Uh, in terms of tagging, there is dry cell on the lower left. And then there's the product or the, you know, the tag with the number on the lower right. Um, we have the color very nice learned. And of course, this very intricate repeating Renaissance pattern, which is just amazing. To look at we also have it on the sleeves we have the puma cat here and then there's a little italian flag on the navy on both sleeves as well puma cats are stitched on if you look here carefully this is also stitched this is not plastic tra transfer again this is the uh, fan version so uh, it's not ne necessarily the one that's worn on field then uh you get paneling you have this huge back panel that makes up the rest of the jer jersey, which is heavily vent ventilated. And I understand the back and it's much uh, the front material is a smooth one, very actually nice. And the back one is really a uh, sports material. So that wick up your uh, sweat and it really goes all the way to, to the front. It's a huge back panel and goes even a little bit over the shoulders. Unlike the more modern ones, like here, there's a slightly, uh, there's more um, paneling going on, but this is one big panel. So this was kind of, I know this is the precursor to the crafted from culture stuff because when this came out, this caused a huge uh sensation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I guess Puma were already planning on this and they said, yeah, crafted for culture, it is all the way. Uh, my only gripe with that is that the green on the back doesn't really fit all that well with the green on the front. I mean, you can clearly see that there is a difference. I think there was golden lettering numbers. And again, Italia saying it here on the back. Uh, meanwhile, having seen this and have, have this, if I would have to rate this one, I definitely would think high, uh, like a seven or an eight for sure. Uh, as a third jersey, it works just fine. And uh, 
now that Italy has other jerseys like this one and then the new home jersey going with it, there is just a fitting theme uh, there. Uh, I want to see one last thing. If there any, yeah, there's one inside tag. This is always something. Um, if you go, it's also on the left where the dry cell is a little bit in. There are these tags. There are only two of them and there's one with a QR code where I have to check that cool QR code because that might be interesting. So I actually looked at this code here, the QR code, and I got to the Puma web page that immediately gave me 20% off. I'm not sure if this is regular now or whether this is a, a general, general thing. Also, you get 50% off the Puma store if you sign up. Just wanted to let you know this as well, because this is what I got. But I, I was expecting it with something Pum Pumare, which also means, yeah, real deal. There's no fake QR code there, because I had this once on, an, on a fake and it and didn't show up anything on the other side. Well, anyway, let me know what you think about this jersey. I know it's one of the most talked jerseys of 2019. Uh, it's already a year ago that this was worn. It was only worn in a qualifier match against Greece, which I think Italy won 2-0, 1-0 nil, nil or 2-0, or but not very convincingly overall. So yeah, let me know what you think about it. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.